Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This your boy X back in the building with another video, man. Back in the truck with another one. With another one, baby. Says we'll be there at 12:06. Hey, man. I just got unloaded, got reloaded. On that way back. Two of these runs in a day, uh, Monday through Monday through Saturday. Um, yeah, yo, it's easy money, bro. Easy money. Easy money. Michigan really need they need a Bucky's out here that's what they really really need y'all they need a Bucky's I think like the closest one is like in a what Indiana Ohio somewhere man they need one out here yo I mean I like Bucky's too and I think Bucky's will do good in Michigan especially with all the truck traffic we be having I did it. Uh, I had a dolly in the dolly in the pool. Of course. 
you got the freezer section, cooler section. Uh, you get paid off of cases, stops, miles, uh, stuff like that. I've done it for like 18 months, two years. Then I quit, came back to it. Uh, food service, it, it, it's very good money. You can make a lot of money doing food service depending on uh, which company you go with. And that all depends on, you know, your financial situation. Because, uh, you know, we run into a lot of people that say uh, it's a good job, it's good money, you know what I'm saying? But that all boils down to your financial situation. You know what I'm saying? It all boils down to your financial situation. Uh, you got child support, you got alimony, you got a wife, you got a side piece. You know what I'm saying? Multiple baby mamas and so on and so forth. It depends on your situation. Bishop International Airport. Everybody household is struggling. 
Ain't nobody household perfect. We all got credit card debt. We all got that we paycheck to paycheck. I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we make we making a good wage. We making a good living wage. I'm not gonna say all of us are making a good li living wage or a fair living wage, but we we're making a decent wage. But it it don't seem that decent when all your money is going to uh, putting gas in the car, uh, putting food on the table, roof over your head. You know what I'm saying? Making sure your kids and, and, and your behind got clothes on your back. Man, the price of everything is high. No matter how much you make, man, for real. Like you're still gonna you're still gonna complain about the price of something. You're still gonna complain. And eventually I, I'm, I'm gonna get over. So I'm not about to ride behind my man's right here.
gonna give me like two tacos with no cheese because I don't eat cheese. But some something about it. Something about it, I feel like it was gonna it's gonna make me
mean, it's a couple other cities that I get that vibe from, like Dearborn. Dearborn seems racist. I mean, I feel more comfortable in Nova than in Wixom. Wixom, I get a kind of, you really ain't supposed to be here type of vibe. Uh, right now, I get the same, uh, the same vibe. Brighton is like, don't know black people live in Brighton. Ain't no ain't no black people don't even shop in Brighton. They ain't really keen on Brighton. That's like Lake Orion or uh, or or Lapeer. Man, black people really ain't trying to hang out in them cities. That really ain't for us.